Okay, welcome to uh, lesson number four of our introduction to Python. Uh, the, talking about integers and floats, uh, which are types of variables. And let's, uh, don't forget to add that because we want it to look nice. And run it. So we've already done printing, we've done a little bit with string variables. Uh, so now we're going to take a look at integers and floats, and I'll explain those in a moment. Um, so uh, make a little variable here called i equals 20. So i is an integer, and I know that because there's no decimal at the end. Okay, so 20 uh, is different to 20.0. Now you're probably thinking, what's the big deal? It's just a decimal point, uh, but they are stored very, very differently inside the computer's memory. Uh, so you'll see a little bit of some differences with the way uh, integers and floats are handled. Uh, so a float, uh, it's, yeah, it's called floating point. Uh, so a float is a, a number that has a decimal point. So it's not a whole number. Um, it's it is exactly a no, we don't want the zero. So uh, yeah, so it's a basically it's a not an integer. So an integer does not have a decimal point. So but a float does. Okay, so um, you won't see a lot of differences, but yeah, you'll see a few here and there. So if I do print i and then say print x and then if I run that, see what comes up. Okay, so I got 20 and 6.0, and so that's that's exactly what we expected. So let's try a few things here. I'm going to try and print i plus x, and then just as a review, um, so ask yourself what happens here if I have it inside of quotation marks, and if you said you see i plus x literally, then you were correct. Now notice we took an integer. 20, we added a float, and the answer came out a float. Again, I know it's a float because it has a decimal point. So the computer has kindly automatically converted that for us, uh, which it doesn't always do. Uh, sometimes you'll get an error. So let's try a few more. Let's try print i minus x, print i times x. Notice the times uh, we use the asterisk and print i divided by x. And again, notice we use the kind of the slash. I'm not sure if that's forward slash or backslash. Um, I was never quite clear on that. And I'm going to try this one. Uh, I'm going to use a couple different numbers here. 5% 4. This is called the modulus. And what that does is it gives us the remainder. So 5 divided by 4 goes in 1, and there's 1 left over. So that is called the modulus. And let's see what happens here. OK, so we got i minus x is 14.0, i times x is 120.0, i divided by x is 3.3333, okay, and it rounds it off way, way out here somewhere. Uh, now, if you are using Python 2, you might see some slight differences here. Uh, you might end up seeing just 3. It's one of the, the changes they made in, in Py between Python 2 and Python 3. And as I mentioned, the modulus, so 5% 4, uh, 5 divided by 4 is uh, 1 plus a 1 remainder. So we're actually seeing the, the 1 remainder. And now here's uh, where it gets interesting. Uh, we've already done stuff like you know print x, uh, print i. We've already printed names in a previous lesson. So watch what happens here. x is, and we've already done this uh, in an earlier lesson, plus x. And I forgot the parentheses. OK, so now note, this is a string, and this is an, uh, a float. OK, if it was an integer, we'd have the same result. Watch what happens. We actually get an error. Okay, so it tells us line 17. Okay, there's an error. Um, it says must be string. So type error. Must be string, not float. So remember, string is a text. We said this is a float because it's a number with a decimal. I cannot combine them directly. Okay, so that gives us an error. So I'm just going to comment that out. And this is this is a good practice when you're, you know, writing some code and trying to figure things out. You know, don't delete everything. Just you know, comment it out so you have like a little bit of a history of what you tried and what didn't work. Uh, and then once you've you know finally solved the problem, then you can you know delete delete the the, the offending comment. Okay. Um, so if I did want to print that, I'm going to use one of my other printing methods. So x is, and we learn percent s, and I can put percent x. Notice it's a lowercase x, because we have x here. Uh, 
Um, and I can also do the other method that we learned, which again is the preferred for now, uh, using the braces and the format method. I put it in parentheses and I just put X there as well. So let's print run that and you'll see X is 6.0. So what this structure does here is it automatically converts this into a string. That's what the S tells you. Okay, and format, it formats it as a string for you. Now format is very versatile, there's lots of things you can do with that, uh, but for the purposes of this, this uh, introductory uh, lesson slash course, uh, we're going to skip that for now. Okay, that was a quick one.